Google ad status is set to bid strategy learning. You don't know what you did, but you do know you did something and now the account is changing. Maybe performance may have dipped and you're freaking out. You don't know what to do. No need to worry. In this video, we're going to address every single thing about bid strategy learning that you need to know and essentially go over what it is, why it's important, how long it takes to essentially go away and really how to mitigate this in the future so we don't go back into bid strategy learning. Now to start off, what is Google Ads bid strategy learning status? And for every single campaign, you can get a ton of different statuses. Some of them are not eligible, eligible, limited by budget. One is bid strategy learning, and this normally comes about once you've changed a bid strategy or made some type of drastic change inside the account. And what a lot of people do is they'll make a massive change to their account, and then they'll see performance dip, and they'll see the status come up. They don't know what to do. They start panicking because they see the status has popped up, their performance is not as good as it used to be, and they try and revert back to where it was previously. You don't wanna do this, you just wanna leave it how it is for the moment. We want to let bid strategy learning pass. The reason for this is essentially what bid strategy learning is, is Google's AI taking a whole bunch of new data that we just gave it and our instructions on what to do and telling it, hey, we want to figure out where best to put our money allocated and get the best results out of that. Now, if we revert back to all these old changes that we used to have, maybe we revert back to the old bidding strategy or previous keywords, ad groups, whatever it was, we're going to give it even more variables. And this learning period is going to take even longer. So that's not something we want to do. So we want to let this entire phase pass. Now, why is this entire phase important in Google Ads of itself? And essentially, whenever we give a massive change to our Google Ads account in our campaign, Google Ads is going to want to A-B test all of this rather quickly. It wants to get results. It wants to figure out what works quickly and what doesn't work quickly. That way, long term, we just prefer Google Ads and we see better results out of it. However, in order to do this, it needs to experiment rather quickly. And this is the phase known as the bid strategy learning phase. And it's gonna take a little bit of time for Google's AI to actually figure all this stuff out. So that's essentially why it's important. I want you to know that performance is more than likely going to dip over this period of time compared to the normal eligible status because Google's AI is testing all this new information and it's going to make some good decisions, some bad decisions, but overall it's probably gonna end up better decisions later on in the campaign life cycle, but it needs to test. And in order to test, you need to take risk and sometimes performance is going to dip because of this but no need to worry this is completely natural to google ads and it happens for every single account especially when you start one now moving on how long is this entire process going to take and it is going to take three conversion cycles now to a normal person that means absolutely nothing to me it means something slightly different essentially a conversion cycle and a conversion cycle is the amount of time it takes for a click to result in a conversion and essentially google is going to import that into google ads and then the ai is going to actually be able to use that data and make good decisions with it. However, there are two factors that will impact how long these three conversion cycles will actually take. The first one is the amount of conversions we're getting. If we're only getting one conversion a week, the bid strategy learning phase is going to take a lot longer than if we were getting 100 conversions a week. The next thing is how long does it actually take to import the conversion from the time it actually triggers via the snippet to the time it actually gets into Google Ads. If you're using the Google Ads tag snippet, probably not that long. If you're using Google Analytics and importing from there, probably a little bit longer. If you're using a third party software like CallRail, probably even longer. So this is going to take a little bit extra time if you're using some other software as it just takes a little bit longer to get back into Google Ads. It shouldn't make a super big difference, but it is something to note. Now, how do we actually know once the bid strategy learning phase is done and we're good to go with our Google ads and we should see performance go back to essentially where it was or better? And that is essentially pretty easy to do. All we have to do is look at the status symbol that was originally there with bid strategy learning next to it. And it should say eligible or something else, but it will say bid strategy is no longer there. And that's what we're looking for. We wanna make sure that is gone and we're good to go. A cool thing about this is if you wanna just hover over bid strategy learning, if it's still there, it should give you an ETA on essentially how long and how much longer you have in this certain mode. Sometimes it doesn't, especially if it's like the first two days. But if you've been in this for four or five days, it should say two, three, four days left and you should be good to go from there just to give you an idea of how much longer this is going to last. And for most accounts, it will take about a week. It could be a little less, a little bit longer.
longer depending again on the actual conversion cycles and just to like make it simple for most people it's generally going to take a right around seven days now one thing to note bid strategy learning once we have enough relevant data inside the account will take less and less time especially if it's a very mature account we're not changing the conversion actions around if we have a ton of conversion data in it and they're all relevant bid strategy learning is going to be less and less because it doesn't have to a b test as much it's still got to a b test new stuff but not as much as the previous stuff so that's just an important tip to know now why does this appear in the first place and it can appear for a variety of reasons uh the biggest one is you've changed your bid strategy and google has to figure out what to do with all of this new information maybe we've gone from maximized clicks to actual target cpa so instead of focusing on clicks we want to focus on conversions which is a massive change for google's ai to figure out how to essentially do all of this which makes sense it should a b test all of this and figure out where to put our budget on and how to get the best results out of that. Now, there are a few other reasons. It could appear from a setting change, which could be increasing your target CPA or decreasing it, increasing maximized clicks uh, bid limit to a substantial amount. It could also appear from a new conversion action you've set or gotten rid of a previous one. So if we're targeting something new instead of leads, we're going after sales or you know sales to leads or website views or whatever it is. If we've changed a massive portion of this account where we're no longer actually going after leads, we're going after sales, that is something massive and Google's AI is probably gonna go back into learning mode and figure out how to best adjust for that. Another thing we could have changed is actually the composition of the account change, which is essentially changing either the campaign, ad group, or keywords, and just adding new ad groups and new keywords to the account. So there's a lot of things we can change in here that will substantially affect our account, and we'll probably put it back into learning mode. So what can we do about this to avoid learning mode in the future? And I recommend using the 10 to 15% rule. And normally it's 15% you're fine with. Sometimes you want to keep it down to 10, to, depending on your risk assessment here but 15% you should be fine. But what I mean by this rule is essentially anything in your account, I would not recommend changing more than 15%. So if we're increasing our budget, we wanna spend more money, increase it by 15%, wait a week, and then increase it by 15% again. Don't increase it by 250%. The reason for this is Google has so much budget and it's so different than what it was previously doing that it doesn't know what to do with this and it's gonna put it right back into learning mode, which is not something we want to do because we don't want to see our performance dip. And this rule applies, by the way, to essentially keywords, ad groups, the actual bid limit, the target CPA, everything we can kind of change inside Google Ads, we don't want to change more than 15% any given week, just because we don't want to throw it back into the bid strategy learning mode, which is going to hurt performance overall. So really recommend not changing too much. Now you may be wondering, how do we continuously increase performance without actually changing all this stuff? And you might wanna check out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link is down below. It walks you through on what to do in your account on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. It also allows you to jot down your results so you can see your performance increasing time over time. And since I'm prone to forget things, <laughs> as most people, I prefer having a checklist just so I can write things down. It makes life a whole bunch easier and it should make your life inside Google Ads a whole bunch easier. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this video or Google Ads or anything in particular about bid strategy learning phase or the status symbols or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.